Hello, good evening. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, Maria. Can you hear me? Yes, no. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. You hear me? Así yes. Que dice, me escucha. Yes. Yo, yo le escucho bien, bien suavecito, pero no sé, no sé qué le pasa a mi computadora. Really? Pero, yo, pero le oigo bien. Quiero ver Ay, si puedo arreglar eso. Okay. No sé, le escucho bien suavecito y me aflige eso. <risa> no sé qué pasa con mi computadora. Quiero ver el sonido. Ah. Puede hablar, teacher, ahorita ¿Sí? para ver si lo... Yes, hi, hello. Uh, hi, fine. I am working. Are you working? Sí. Okay. Yes. <risa> Okay, that's fine. No worries. Okay. Hello, Carolina. Hi, Carolina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm, I'm fine. Excellent. That's good. Hi, Nelson. Good evening. Hi, Ronald. Good evening. Hi, Oscar. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. So how are you today? You good? So how was your day? Was how was your Monday? It was good? My personal case, pretty good, teacher. All right. Did you work today? Yeah, tristemente. <laughs> I know, but it's Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. But everything's good. Everything good at your work. Yeah. All right. Blessing. Blessing. All right. That's good. But the most important. Yeah, definitely. Good. That's good. Blessing. Excellent. Healthy. It. Yeah, and are you going to have vacation for this seasons for holiday seasons? No, in my in my case, never, never vacation, <laughs> never, <laughs> not even on on the on December and Christmas. Usually, on December, not. So, do you work on on Christmas, for example, on December twenty fourth? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sure, 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 no worries. All right, so good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to our, uh, this is our, let me see, our 13th class. So we are around 
uh, three classes more, well, four classes more, so we can finish the curse. So congratulations, everybody. You almost did it, so that's great. Um, we're going to continue uh, to check in with, uh, with the present continuous tense that we, we were studying last uh, Friday, I'm sorry, last Thursday. So do you remember about the present continuous? Yes, no, any thoughts? Se acuerdan del present continuous? Yes. Uh, what do we use it for? Para que utilizamos el present continuous? Es para lo que está sucediendo ahorita. Exactly. De lo que estamos haciendo. That's correct. That's something that is happening right now. So, uh, somebody can tell me what is happening right now? ¿Alguien me puede decir qué está pasando ahorita? Mm, study. Okay, but say the whole sentence. Mm. We're studying. Studying in English. Can you say it again? I have mm, studying in English. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Excuse me, excuse me, make coffee. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Try to say it again. We uh -huh. are studying. Okay, we in, are studying. In English. Very good. No. Yes, we are start studying in English. Or we are studying English. That's good. Uh, thank you. That, that's correct. Great. So that's basically what we do. Uh, we use the... ¿Qué verbo utilizamos para... Utilizar el present continuous. ¿Qué verbo auxiliar utilizamos? NG. Eso es lo que le agregamos al verbo. Pero el verbo auxiliar que utilizamos, ¿cuál es? To be. Is are. Exactly. El verbo to be. Am um, is are. That's correct. So that's why we use it. And then utilizamos el verbo with ing. With ing. Very good. So I'm going to show you some verbs and I want you to make them into IMG form, okay? So let me go ahead and, and show you here. Just one second. All right. All right, so let's see. So I want to show you some verbs. I need you to tell me what are the verbs in ing form. So this verb, how is in the ing form? Anybody? ¿Cómo es este verbo with ing? Acting. Exactly. Can you spell it, please? A C T Y I N G. Mm, no. Why? No. Oh no, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> a, a A C T I N G. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Oscar. What about this one? Breaking. Can you spell it, please? B-R-E-A-K-I-N-G. Uh -huh. Excellent. That's correct. What about this one? Crying. Can you spell it, please? C-R-J-I-N-G. Say one more time. C R Mm, I don't remember to speak J. Yeah. Okay. How how do you say Y in English? Everybody? Why? 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 Exactly. Thanks. So go ahead, Ronald. Say it again. C R Y I N G. Why? Why? C R Y I N G. Excellent. Good. What about this one? Uh, 
ready. Can you say it one more time? Ready. It's reading. Say reading. with me, reading. Sorry. No worries. Can you spell it, please? Reading. Mm -hmm. R A I. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. R sorry. Perdón, poco. R I N G. Um, say it again. Can you say it again, Nelson? R R E mm -hmm. A E I N G. Excellent. Very good. And what about this one? Uh, I'm sorry. Can I? Can yes. I say it? Sure, sure. Go. S N E E Z E. Okay, but in the ING form, ¿cómo sería? I N ah, okay. <laughs> S S N E E Z E I N G. Are you sure? Ah, uh, no. S N E E Z ING. Excellent. And can you <laughs> say it? Uh, I don't remember. How do you say just just that word without ING? Sneeze. Sneeze. Uh -huh. uh, so it will be sneezing? Yeah, that's correct. Sneezing. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So that's how we making the 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 ING forms for the verbs. So that's good. Uh, do you have any questions so far with uh, how to make those verbs? No? Everything's good? Great. So what we are going to start seeing right now, it's the present continuous, still the present continuous, but we are going to see now the present continuous in the negative form. The last time we saw, it was just the positive way to make it. Eh, la vez pasada solo vimos la forma positiva de hacerlo. Eh, Ahora lo vamos a ver de la forma negativa. Uh, it's simple. Uh, you're going to use the subject. We're going to use a verb, the verb be. We're going to use not, the verb with ing, and the complement. Okay? So, you are not listening to music. He is not playing video games. Okay? So that's basically how we do it. Uh, let's make some examples here. Uh, Jorge, can you please make one sentence using the negative form? This, you are not listening to music. Uh -huh. Can you this? make can you make a, one example? Oh, okay. Um, I am not eating um, right now. Okay, very good. Excellent. Kenny? I am, I am not. I am not reading book. Okay, I am not reading. The book. Uh -huh. A book. A book. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Can you make one example? Or can you tell me what you are not doing right now? Me puede decir qué es lo que no está haciendo ahorita? Jessica, are you there? I think she isn't. Let's see. Uh, Martha, can you tell Hello. me what you Good are evening. not doing? Good evening. Um, I'm not coming early today at the class. Okay. 
All right, that's good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So that's what we are we are going to use the negative form. Para eso vamos a utilizar la forma negativa para decir algo que no estamos haciendo en el momento. All right. Teacher. So, yes. Go ahead. Y y en vaya, digamos podría ser I am not playing free fire. <laughs> Aunque sí. Yeah. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> I am not playing mm -hmm. Free Fire. Free Fire. Ah, Free Fire. You mean the, the beer game? Se refiere al videojuego? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so yes. I'm not playing Free Fire. Uh, thank you. Sure, very good. Good example. So that's the way we use it. Remember que tenemos que utilizar un subject, el verb to be, not, and verb with ing and complement. So something that we can use here, it's some contractions when we are using the verb be. Cuando utilizamos el verbo to be, podemos utilizar unas contracciones para unir el sujeto, o en este caso el subject pronoun, con el verbo to be. Y tenemos acá los ejemplos. Por ejemplo, I am, puede ser am. No es I'm, es am, como AM, como que solamente estuviera esta parte de acá, sin el I. Entonces esto va am, luego you are, it's your, he is, is his, she is, is she's, it is, it's, we are, we're, and they are there. Okay, so I want you to repeat after me. Am. Um. Repitan después de mí. Am. 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 I am. Am. I am. 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 I am. I am. Am. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. Yes. Mm -hmm. He is his. He is his. He is she's. She is she's. She is she's. It is it's. It is it's. We are we are. We are we are we. Are. we, are. we, are. we are. They are there. Excellent. So, uh, Maria, can you make one example using am, a negative uh, sentence using am? I'm not eating uh, the apple. Okay, I am not. I, I'm not eating an apple. I'm not. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Carolina, uh, make a sentence with your, a negative sentence. You're not studying math. Say it again. Math, the um, mathematics. No, de la, toda la oración. Ah. You're not. Your. Your. No, your. Es como con O. Así, your. Your. Ajá. You're not. You're not. In studying. Studying. Studying math. Very good. You're not studying math. Excellent. That's correct. Thank, thank you. Oscar with his. He's, he's, he's not playing PlayStation. Very good. He's not playing the PlayStation. Good. That's correct. Let's see, uh, Cynthia, she's not studying. Cynthia, excuse me. Yes, yes can you I say here <laughs> because my family has a, a meeting right now here? Oh, okay, no worries. But but tell me, uh, 
Uh, can uh, you make a sentence? I... Yes. Uh, can uh, you make a negative some... sentence? You said cheese. <laughs> okay. Negative. Yeah, negative. Or... Okay. She sing. She sing dancing in the in the disco right now. Okay. Very good. That's correct. Okay. Sorry, okay. sorry, coach. No worries. No worries. <laughs> Uh, Relson, can you make one with it's? Excuse me? Can you make a negative sentence with it's? Uh, which number? No, with it's. Pero, ¿cuál de todas esas líneas? Uh, it's. Oh, uh, pasa la negativa. Correcto. Ok. Uh, it is not. Uh -huh. It's not. It's not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es, que, es que, perdón, uh, eh, estaba atendiendo una llamada. No, no estoy. Eh, ¿Qué oraciones están armando? Ok. <laughs> es, estamos haciendo oraciones negativas con presente continuo. Pero, ¿cuál verbo? ¿Cuál verbo sería ahí de, para hacerlo presente continuo? El que usted quiera. Oh, ok. Entonces uh, sería. Y. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not training now. <laughs> ok. It's not training now. Now. Uh -huh. Ok. Very good. Thank you. All right. Okay. Daniela. You there? I knock, think knock. It's not. Knock, knock. <laughs> All right, Jorge. Can you make a sentence with where? Um, where? We are not. Well, oh, okay. Um, we're not uh -huh. uh, cooking. Uh, not right now. Very good. Yes, we're not cooking right now. Good. And the tea. Uh, Kenny, can you make the last one there? They're not. Dancing now. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, they're not dancing now. Great. Very good. So that's the way we contract the subject pronoun and the verb be. Ahora bien, podemos contractar, que de hecho ese fue el ejemplo que dio Cynthia, podemos contractar el la negative form con el verbo to be. So ya no sería you are not, sino que sería you aren't. ¿Cómo hacemos esto? Eh, en la primera parte con I am. Con I am, am and not, no se pueden contractar. However, existe una contracción que no es una contracción oficial, podríamos decirlo, sino que es como, como una parte de un slang, que es ain't. Es A-I-N apóstrofe T. Entonces, si, si alguien dice I ain't doing this, Significa I am not o I'm not doing this. Y eso lo puede, lo puede escuchar en una canción, lo puede escuchar en una serie, una película. So if you heard I ain't doing that o I ain't doing it, it means I'm not doing it. Ok. So obviamente no es una, una versión oficial, por decirlo así, pero it's valid. Si alguien le escucha a alguien, pues ya usted entiende que I ain't means I'm not. Pero para utilizarlo así en normal, it's I'm not. Solo así. Then the rest of the verbs, we can uh, contract it with, uh, with not. Mm -hmm. We have you are not o you're not. Y luego lo podemos contractar con you aren't. ¿Y cómo lo hacemos? Eh, solamente ponemos el verb to be 
le agregamos la N, le agregamos un apóstrofo y una T. Y de esa forma ya estamos contractando el verb be con el not. Entonces ya la segunda sería you aren't, he isn't, she isn't, it isn't, we aren't, and they aren't. All right? So let's repeat after me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You aren't. You, you aren't. aren't. He isn't. He isn't. She isn't. She isn't. She isn't. It isn't. It isn't. We aren't. We aren't. And they aren't. They aren't. Excellent. So, I want you to use them. Eh, yo quiero que los utilicen. Eh, más adelante que hagamos ejercicios. Eh, utilicen ya sea esta forma. Eh, o la anterior para los negativos sería lo ideal que utilizaran esta de acá eh, los otros que vimos anteriormente son más utilizados para el positivo como decir I'm, your, his, she's it's weird in there y ya con este pues utilizamos la contracted form contractando el verb be con el negativo preguntas con respecto a esto con el verb to be contracted form del negativo Yes, no? Mm. Okay, cool. All right, so let's make some examples here. I have six sentences here where I need you to make the sentence, adding not and putting the verb into ING form. Eh, vamos a utilizar las contracted forms, así que sus respuestas tienen que estar contracted. So I'm going to give you, let's see, uh, three minutes. So you can complete them all. All right. So let's do it. Teacher. Yes. Y en el verbo que aparece ahí, mm -hmm. en el modo que está o en el, en el de, o en el que estábamos. En el ING. Ahorita ah. estamos haciendo las oraciones en negativo de present continuous. Así que con ING. Ok, thank you. Okay, so let's do the number one. Who wants to make number one? Hello, teacher. Hi, Daniela. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go. I am not listening to the radio. Excellent. Very good. Um, I am not listening to the radio. And now in a contracted form, ¿cómo sería? Oh, I'm perdí. ¿Cómo sería la forma contractada del negativo en esa oración? 
I. Can I? Um. I. It's um. um. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, um. I'm not listening to, I'm not listening to the radio. Excellent, to the radio. Good. Very good. Carlson, you want to do number two? Okay. We're not walking to the sports center. Very good. We're not walking to the sports center. Great. What about number three? Who wants to make number three? I have it. Um, uh, go. He's not having a shower at the moment. Okay. He's not having a shower at the moment. Yes. De la otra, de la otra forma de contractada, ¿cómo sería? Uh, he's, he isn't having a shower at the moment. Very good. He isn't having a shower at the moment. Good. Okay. Great. Thank you, Marta. Number four. Hey, hey, teacher. Yes. The the first one, mm -hmm. it could be it could be too ain't ain't listening to the radio. Yes, I ain't listening to the radio. That's correct. Very good. What about number four? Hi, teacher. Go, Maria. You aren't doing your homework doing after the doing uh -huh. can you, you say it again aren't doing your home homework excellent you aren't doing your homework great very good number five they are mm -hmm. wearing jeans today wearing wearing uh-huh can you say it again they aren't wearing jeans today. Excellent. Very good. And number six. Carolina, number six. Aquí estoy, teacher. Mm. It is no raining now. Hey, say it again. Mm, it's in rainy now. It say it and then it's it's in it it's in rainy now. Ay, no puedo pronunciarlo. ¿Te recuerda cuál era la forma contractada del is y el not? Is it isn't? Isn't. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Isn't not rainy? No. Isn't rainy now? No, it's it. Isn't. It, it isn't. Uh -huh. It isn't. It isn't uh -huh. rainy now. Very good. Say it again. It isn't rainy now. One more time. It isn't rainy now. Very good. Excellent. That's Thank correct. You. Great. Good job. So that's the way we do the negative sentences uh, using the contracted form. Uh, the contracted form nos ayuda para hacer un poco más fluido cuando hablamos, para no ir para por palabras, sino que armar ahí un puente en el cual se nos haga más short what we are trying to say. Okay. So questions so far. Nope. All right. So let's continue. So now we're going to see the questions, the just no questions with ING form. So the ING form as well, we can make questions but ING. And in this case, the just no questions are the ones we get a response either yes or no. ¿Se recuerdan? Eso lo hemos visto con el, con el verb be. Y ahora lo vamos a ver también con el present continuous. Uh, son preguntas en las cuales se requiere la respuesta de sí o no. O como las conocemos, preguntas cerradas. 
eh, donde esperamos solamente una o dos, una respuesta uno o respuesta dos. And that's the way we do it. Esta es la forma en que lo hacemos. Eh, primero utilizamos el verb be. Puede ser am, is, or are. Luego el subject. Luego el verb with ing. And finally the complement. And then the question mark. Ok. Y aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. Are you working now? Is he going to the store later? Is mom cooking right now? Entonces, básicamente es para preguntar cosas que estamos haciendo eh, right now. All right? Uy. And this is the way that we answer it. Así es como lo respondemos. Eh, are you working now? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm working now. No, I'm not. No, I'm not working now. Entonces, podemos contestar ya sea en una short way o en una a long answer. Providing more information or repeating what is in the question. Podemos contestar de una manera corta o podemos contestar de una manera un poco más larga donde damos información o re repetimos lo que se nos ha preguntado. Entonces, are you working right now? ¿Estás trabajando ahorita? Yes, I am. Sí. Are you working now? Sí, estoy trabajando ahorita. Are you working now? No. No estoy trabajando. No, I'm not. Sería no. Are you working now? No. I'm not working right now. No estoy trabajando ahorita. So, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, uh, Oscar, are you studying right now? Yes, I am studying right now. Okay. Uh, Nelson, are you sleeping right now? Sleeping? Yes, sleeping. Perdón. Sleeping? Yes. Yes, I am sleeping right now. Uh -huh. Are you sleeping right now? Yeah, I'm sleeping right now. You're sleeping right now? ¿Está durmiendo ahorita? Ah, no. No, I'm sleeping <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. So, si uh, no está durmiendo, ¿cuál es la respuesta? No, I'm sleeping now. Okay, no? No. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm sleeping now. I'm not. Okay. I'm not asleep. Sleeping now. Very good. Excellent. Almost there. Uh, <laughs> almost, but not. Daniela, are you eating now? I, um, I am not eating now. Okay, one more time. Are you eating now? I am not. Tiene que decir primero, no. Ah, sorry. Uh -huh. Not, I am not. Very good. No, I'm not. Excellent. And Jorge, are you drinking coffee right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. I hey, don't have. Why? I don't have a cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. Very good. So that's the way we make the questions and that's how we answer them, all right? <clears throat> and before we start uh, practicing, we are going to, or we want to use some conjunctions. Conjunctions son uh, palabras que se utilizan para unir uh, una o varias oraciones. En este caso, las que vamos a ver son and and but. And significa y, And but significa pero. ¿Cómo las podemos utilizar? Eh, en preguntas como, que de hecho vamos a ver después las WH questions. Pero una pregunta como, what are you doing right now? Entonces puede decir, I am, o I'm watching TV. And eh, eating 
cereal, por ejemplo. Entonces utilizamos el N como I para unir dos oraciones. Y but significa pero. Es para utilizar una oración y luego contrastarla con la siguiente. Eh, are you working now? Uh, no, I'm not. But I am playing video no. games right now. Are you sleeping now? Uh, no, I'm not. But I'm studying English right now. Okay. De esa forma podemos utilizar las conjunctions para unir una, dos o muchas oraciones más. Any questions at the moment? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Todo bien so far? Yes. All right. So let's make five yes, no questions and provide with an answer. Hagan yes, five yes, no questions y le ponen una respuesta a cada una de sus oraciones. Que sea la respuesta corta o la respuesta larga. Either or. That's fine. So I'll give you uh, three minutes so you can do it. And then we're going to share them. Remember that the yes, no questions we do, la estructura va primero el verb to be, luego va el subject, luego va el verb with ing, complement, y por último el question mark. Y respondemos yes, I am, no, I'm not, o en la forma completa utilizamos la información de la que se nos preguntó. Can you repeat the stru la estructura? Sure. Es yes. primero, sure. It's verb B. Primero. Mm -hmm. Luego va yes. el subject. Subject. Luego va el verb with ing. Then the complement. Y por último, okay. el question mark. Uh, Kausha, question. Yes. I have forgot, uh, forgotten something. Okay. Uh, the structure, for example, uh, first is, uh, for example, do or does. Uh -huh. That's a simple uh, question. For example, uh, does she is working? Mm, or no. does is she working? Sería, is she working? Does is she working? No, single does. Ah, okay. okay. Because does it's for the simple present. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So it's just is. Is, uh, okay, am, okay. or are. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Sure. Sure. Yes. For I in the question is am I? M. M I. M I. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so let's start here. Uh, Stephanie, 
Can you tell me one of your questions with the answer? Stephanie, you there? What about David? Are you there, David? Okay, thanks, no. Catherine. Tampoco. Hey, hey, coach. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, one or five? Just one. Okay. Are they eating Chinese food right now? Very good. Are the, they eating Chinese food right now? The answer? The short answer, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. The long answer, yes, they are eating Chinese food right now. Great job. Good, Cynthia. Thank, Thank you. you. Excellent. Martha. Um, okay. Are you studying right now? Yes, I am, but I'm going to be sleeping later. Excellent. <laughs> Great. That's good. Thank you, Martha. Okay. Maria, can you tell me one of your questions? We are playing football. Say one more time. We are playing football. Mm, no. Ahí falta algo en la, en la pregunta. Remember that the, the structure, first verb, then subject, yeah. then... We are not. No. Primero va el verb. Ahí then... Are we... Exactly. Are uh -huh. Entonces, are we playing football? And the answer? Yes, we are. We are not. We are not. No, we are not. That's correct. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Maria. Arely, can you tell me one of your sentences? One of your questions, I'm sorry. Is she waiting for her boyfriend? For? Him, boyfriend. Yes, excellent, good. Can you make the question again? Can you make it again, Arlie? Can you make the question again, Natalie? <laughs> Is she waiting for her boyfriend? Very good. And the answer? Yes. She is waiting for her boyfriend. For her, for her boyfriend. Good. For her boyfriend. Excellent. Good, El Aguinaldo. She's waiting for her Aguinaldo. <laughs> hey, Aguinaldo is coming. Aguinaldo is very near. Mm, yes. Yes. <laughs> and the banks knows. Y los bancos lo saben. El Aguinaldo está pronto. <laughs> los ladrones. Yeah. They, take care. Take care, everybody. Please be safe. Use online transactions. All right, Kenny, make your question. Are you studying English? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am studying English. Very good. Uh, yes. No, no, I am I am not studying English. Very good. Great. Excellent. Great. Good job. Good questions. So we're gonna do the last part here. Uh, this is a conversation that I want you to do. Uh, here we're using the questions with uh, the ING questions, the JESNO questions, 
We are using the negative form. No, I'm not going now. We are using the conjunctions, but I'm going later. And any other stuff here. So let's practice this here. And then uh, I wanted to make your own so you can practice it and uh, do it with your one of your partners, okay? So let's see, uh, let me check. Uh, uh, uh. All right, uh, Kenny, practice the conversation with me. Uh, you're gonna be letter A, I'm gonna be letter B. Okay. So go. Are you going to Karen's party now? Um, no, I'm not going now, but I'm going later. Why? I am going now. Let's go together. Uh, I have to finish some homework. I'm leaving after I finish my homework. Okay. I will see you there. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Ahora cambiamos. Are you going to Karen's party now? No, I am not going now. But I am going later. 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 Why? I'm going now. Let's go together. I have to finish some homework. I am leaving after I finish my homework. Okay. I will see you there. Great. Thank you, Kenny. So do you have any questions with this? Any new vocabulary? Any word that you don't know? Any phrase that you don't understand? No? ¿Cómo se pronuncia W H Y? Why? 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 Okay. Así como se dice la Y? Why? Así se dice la pregunta. Why? The same. Gracias, teacher. Sure. Any other question? Nope. Okay. So, Richard. yes. Um, what is significant there? See you there. See you there. Te veo ahí. Oh. Te veo allá. Excellent. All right. So what we are going to do right now is this. We're going to make the same conversation, but with the only thing that we're going to change some things. Vamos a cambiar algunas cosas de la conversación. Eh, are you going to, eh, en el ejemplo de Karen's party, la fiesta de Karen, you can say here, are you going to the concert? Are you going to the, the discotheque? Are you going to the library? Are you going, I don't know, whatever you want. And no, I'm not going now, but I'm going later. Why I'm going now, let's go together. I have to, and then you have to put an excuse here. Tiene que poner una excusa aquí. I have to work. I have to um, clean the house. I have to, um, I don't know, play video games. Okay. Uh, I, I have to sleep. I don't know, whatever. And then... You will say, I'm leaving after I finish and whatever you're doing. Así como el ejemplo de acá. After I finish my homework, after I finish um, my sleeping or my nap, después que termine mi siesta, after I finish the chores, termine las tareas de la casa. Okay, I will see you there. Okay. So let's make the conversation right now. And I think that we're not going to have time to practice it. So, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Eh, háganla ustedes ahorita, individual cada uno. Agréguenle acá, ya sea, algunos de los ejemplos que les mencioné. Y si nos queda chance, vamos a hacer un par de prácticas, just for you can check. And then tomorrow we're going to practice in couples. Okay. Así que hagan la conversación hasta ahorita, agréguenle ahí los, en los espacios las, cualquiera de las opciones que ustedes consideren. Luego vamos a hacer una práctica todos juntos y mañana vamos a comenzar con eh, practicando esta conversación. Ok, so let's do it.
Okay. Okay, uh, we're going to practice this right now just so you can see how we're going to do it. Vamos a practicarlo ahorita para ver cómo es que lo vamos a hacer tomorrow. So, uh, let's see, let's do it now with Oscar. So, Oscar, Bye. yes, okay. <laughs> can you start? Oh. Yeah, go. Right first, yeah, you go first. Okay. Are you going to dance it now? Very good. Um, no, I'm not going now, but I'm going later. Why? I'm going now. Let's go together. Uh, I have to. Uh, I have to clean my house. I'm leaving after I finish cleaning my house. Okay. I will see you there. Very good. Excellent. So now, Oscar, can you please do it with Kenny? Okay, Kenny, are you going to sleep now? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> no, I am not it's sleeping now. Uh, you can say that. Uh, uh, I am not going now. <laughs> uh -huh. But? But I am going late, later. Later. Why? I'm <laughs> going. I am going now. Let's go together. <laughs> Let's go together to sleep. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Go. <laughs> Coach, what is happening? I don't know. What is happening here? <laughs> Oscar is inviting Kenny to go to sleep. No, we have a, here we have red flags. Oh my god. Hey, teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Más que este mi background se ve como que fuera Bartolina ya atrás. Oh my god. This 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 turned very weird. <laughs> okay, can you answer answer to Oscar? I I have to study English. I have to study English. Uh huh. I have to study English. I am leaving after. Uh, <laughs> After the class. Uh-huh. After, uh -huh. after the class. <laughs> Why not? It could be. It could be. <laughs> All right. I'll see you there. <laughs> okay. I'll see you there. Wow. Good. Here. <laughs> yeah. Here there are. A strong confession. Yeah. Strong confession, <laughs> yeah. So, wow, it, it, was, it was intense. It was intense. Yes. <laughs> A lot of red flags. I know, I know. But we're good. <laughs> good. Uh, All right, so, well, yes. No, next big thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so very good. Good example. Good, good very comment. good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> the weather is hot right now. We have to go to sleep. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm sweating. I'm even sweating. Me oh too. <laughs> oh I am okay. praying. I am... All right. Hi. So, well, that's how we use the, the, the yes, no questions with present continuous. Uh, <laughs> do you have any questions so far in regards to this? Yes? No? no? Questions? No? Okay. So tomorrow, this is the first activity we're going to do. Uh, vamos a hacer conversaciones igual a estas, as we did. So, <laughs> no, not like this one, but the, the, the same example. So, <laughs> so please, um, if you have the chance to, to read it out, maybe in your breaks, on your lunch, uh, so you can have it like a little bit memorized, that would be great. So when you do the practice, eh, sea un poco más natural. Que no sea solo leyendo, sino que sea, eh, if you can memorize it, that's good. If not, que pueda ir fluyendo ahí poco a poco para que eso le vaya dando un poco más de seguridad a la hora de hablar. ¿verdad? You feel that you are speaking. No solamente leyendo, sino que you are actually speaking. All right? A fluent conversation. Exactly. A fluent conversation. That's correct. Yes, Oscar. Uh, those are what are those linking words oh you mean uh, the, the joining words yeah, yeah. that's correct mm -hmm. uh, as long as you're using porque ustedes hacen, hacen tres, cuatro, cinco sentences son cinco sentences pero si le ponen un n un bat y los están uniendo cada uno, ya hacen un párrafo completo. Ya se convierte en un párrafo. Ya no son cinco líneas, sino que son un párrafo completo that you did. You're telling a story, you're saying something, porque están uniendo con esos linking words que está diciendo Oscar. So good, that's correct. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much for being here and for being mm -hmm. in the class. Uh, we're going to see tomorrow. Have a very, very uh, good night. I hope you really have a good rest. Uh, yes, so please. we're going to see tomorrow. I need it. Yes. I need it so much. <laughs> we need it a lot, a lot. So, yes. so but very... I, I, have been, I, uh, I have been working over the weekend. Oh, my God. So you haven't had any yes. days off? No days off? Saturday and Sunday all the day. But is that extra hours, like overtime? No, oh they God. don't pay us. Hey. <laughs> yes, that's true. Why? Yes. Y total los descuentos nunca los recibimos. De eso sí. Nunca los por dónde hemos ido, viejo. All right. So, thank you uh, very much for being here. Uh, take a rest, please, and we're gonna see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So see good you. night. Okay. See Have you a good night. Yeah. See you, everyone. Take care. Goodbye. Oh. Bye bye. Bye.